Today's bikes are amazing bits of kit, but if you're going to be an animal and throw them down rocky hillsides all summer, then things are going to come loose and things are going to wear out. In the next two minutes, I'm going to tell you exactly which bits on your bike you need to check to stop your wear and tear becoming a big garage bill. So if something doesn't quite feel right while you've been riding and you've no idea what it is, we're going to feel for play in anywhere there are bearings on your bike. First we're going to check the headset, which we're going to do by holding the front brake on, which is this side because I'm British, and putting the second hand on the top of the headset. And then we're going to rock the bike on that front wheel. And because your hands are such sensitive little things, you could feel any play between the frame and that top headset race. Next we're just going to check the fork bushings for play. We're going to lock the forks out. We're going to turn the forks 90 degrees and we're going to put our hand at the top of the fork lowers and the stanchions where they meet. We're just going to rock the bike. You will get a little bit of up and down movement in those forks, but any side to side play means that your fork bushings need changing. Next is your wheel bearings. Now your wheels get a real hammering when you're riding, so we're going to check them for lateral play. We're going to do that by holding firmly the frame and grabbing your wheel and pushing it side to side laterally. Any side to side movement that isn't just flexing the spokes means that your wheel bearings are going to need adjusting. Next is your bottom bracket. That's the axle at the bottom of your bike. And we're going to check that by leaning the bike against the shoulder, reaching over and grabbing both cranks, one in each hand, and we're going to try and move them side to side. Any lateral play, it means your bottom bracket's on its way out and you need to get it sorted. And finally, we're going to check the shock bushings. A little bit of play in your shock bushings isn't going to affect the way you ride, but it is going to feel well horrible. And we're going to check that by just grasping firmly the shock and trying to pull it up and down. If there's any knocking or play in it, then it means that your shock pivot points need new bushings. Sorted. Now that you've found what's loose, you can go and get it sorted, saving you money to go and spend on beer. Sorted.